In case you missed it then, the schedule announced for next weekend's Bundesliga games. Uh, on Saturday, you've got the likes of Borussia Dortmund taking on Schalke. Also, Eintracht Frankfurt taking on Borussia Mönchengladbach. And I'm delighted to welcome Freddy Vovic, a former German international, now the executive member, uh, board member of sport at Frankfurt, who's joining us now. It's been incredible just watching all this play out over the last few days. Freddie, what's it been like to be involved in this situation where all of a sudden you're being told that, yes, matches are going ahead? Yeah, it was a lot, a lot of stress, you know, uh, because uh, we had so many so many conference calls. Uh, we're talking, we had these uh, different commissions, uh, uh, task force, medicine, uh, then the politicians, you know, uh, everybody involved in, 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 in this uh, to, to, to reopen or restart the league again. Um, we are really excited, really happy to to come back. And uh, as, the, as the first league, also globally the first league, uh, uh, that would be a big, big impact for, for Germany, but for the Bundesliga anyway. Now, is it a feeling of excitement amongst the players, apprehension? How are they feeling? They're feeling good, you know, because the boys, they only like to, to play football. You know, it's just, uh, they, 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 they love it to, to compete against the other the other teams uh, to score goals, you know, uh, um, that uh, that is always the, the, the goal what they what they are chasing, and uh, um, especially also the last weeks was very difficult for the for the for the for the players. They only trained in small groups, like five to eight, uh, uh, was uh, were allowed to, to train uh, together, and uh, so they starting two days ago with again to go in touch, yeah, to to. Uh, with the other with the other players then uh, regular training uh, er everything you know uh, kicking uh, sliding uh, it was really really exciting to see yeah you know? like um, kids you took them something you know now they can they can do it again and uh, they, they've been so emotional and about that uh, but it's a short time it's only a short time until we will start uh, uh, and Saturday in one week, and so uh, ho hopefully uh, nobody will get injured because uh, the, the preparation to the to the first first game is very short. That's it. There's only what, eight days to go now until that first game for you guys against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. And what's interesting about that game is that it's on his own. There's no other games around it, so it won't only be Germany watching, but just football fans around the world who maybe have never watched the Bundesliga before, but want to watch some live soccer. How is it going to be amongst the players for that? Can you treat it as just another game? Surely you're going to be aware of the greater audience that's going to be watching. Yeah, sure. And then I will. I will also have. Some, I will do a speech and also next week, a uh, um, couple of days before the before the game, talk about discipline, everything. You know, everybody will watch us. It's, it's, it's global. Uh, it's live. Uh, um, uh, we are we are very in a really nice situation, you know, because all the the other games will happen on Sunday, Monday, uh, but also on Saturday. But in the afternoon, then that's the the prime time, six thirty here p.m. Uh, uh, for us uh, to play in, in Germany uh, and uh, worldwide. Everybody will watch us. Uh, how how we uh, yeah how we will perform, but also how we will manage to play in in, in this special kind of situation. Um, and then Bayern Munich in action 24 hours later. Uh, top of the table ahead of Borussia Dortmund at the moment. Uh, for you, are they big, big favourites to win the title once again this season? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Because Bayern, <laughs> Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich is, is, is the stakeholder in the league. Uh, they are, they are, they are always uh, really, they're a very great team, and they found found back. They struggled a bit in, in the first part of the season, but now. They are full back, but anyway, uh, it will be in very interesting to see this. Uh, this this uh, after uh, when the lockdown started, you know, it's also for them a really new situation and uh, to find the rhythm and everything. That will be for all a big challenge for all clubs, a big challenge, uh, uh, and also for Bayern Munich, you know. So um, everybody's excited to see um, how the first game will. Are you in the flow or not? You know, yeah. Um, because everybody is, I think, in a good shape and fit, but nobody knows if, if they are really as a team, you know, if, if, if uh, they can compete like it was before. Uh, last question on Bayern Munich, I promise, before we move on. We had Andre Herrera <laughs> on the show this week from PSG talking about the fact that 
their training schedule is so up in the air looking to return to the Champions League in August, obviously with the cancellation of the French League. Does the fact that you've got the Bundesliga restarting next weekend give Bayern an advantage looking ahead to the Champions League? Sure, give them an advantage. But you know, August, it's, that's a long period to think about what, have, what is in August. If we are playing, I hopefully we are playing, we also play in the Europe League, but hopefully, hopefully also the Champions League will, can finish the 1920 season but uh, so many question marks about that you know i'm not I, i'm not sure about what is in august you know uh, is allowed to travel is not allowed to travel with supporters no supporters so it's 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 a it's it's a long term thing but for bayern munich if if it mm. happened uh, will be a big advantage also to have a very good opportunity to 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 win the champions league uh, so it's good for the bundesliga i know uh, meanwhile, of course, amongst the chasing pack, Borussia Dortmund, they've won a lot of fans over this season with a young, exciting squad and the sort of football that they play. Who in particular out of the players do you think are going to go very far from Dortmund? I think that's, that uh, Borussia Dortmund is the talented team uh, in, in, in the league. So many fantastic young players, you know, like Jaden Sancho. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they have a very, really good opportunity also to to challenge challenge Bayern Munich. Uh, it's very, uh, I think they will play in the second week. They will play against Bayern Munich. Uh, it's, a, it's a key match also to 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 come back or to to come closer to Bayern Munich also to win at the end the championship. But will be a, a a great thing for the Bundesliga if another team, not Bayern Munich, uh, win win the Bundesliga. So. Uh, so I support anyway Dortmund, you know, because I'm also a former player from, from Borussia Dortmund and hopefully they can do it. But uh, Bayern Munich have more experience, but I, I like the team from Borussia Dortmund, especially these young players. You know, they are, they are fan fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about a player that you know well. Uh, Luka Jovic, of course, made that big money move to Real Madrid over the summer. 60 million euros. He's only delivered two goals so far this campaign. Yeah. Came back. Uh, from quarantine and has fractured his toe, which means he's going to be out for a period as well. Are you surprised how much he struggled given how good he was for Frankfurt last season? He was fantastic for us, you know, and also he's still young. And uh, these young players, they need time. And if you come to a, to a club like, like Real Madrid, it, it is not easy, you know, to, uh, to f find the right way also. Uh, how, how to, to act there, you know, there's so many superstars around you. He was in Frankfurt, uh, one of our superstars, but still under control from our experienced players. Uh, he did his job fantastic, uh, but he is still young and hopefully he will come back because he's special in the box. He's one of the top, top, top players uh, uh, for this age. Uh, um, never seen player like this in, in, in the box in this age uh, who can act uh, so dangerous and, and, and score. So really, really nice goals. But he struggled. As, that's right. And I think he's. I know that he's not happy right now with his situation. Also, and what happened during the season. So he now he's injured. Uh, hopefully, that injury can help him to come stronger back at as like he was before. You know, uh, in, in in the season. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, a lot of Americans applying their trade in the Bundesliga, including Timmy Chandler, of course, playing for Eintracht Frankfurt. Uh, how impressed are you with him? How much do you like him as a player? I like him, you know, when I was uh, also a sporting director in Stuttgart uh, and he was playing in Nuremberg, I was trying to, to get him, you know, uh, but uh, no chance. He he uh, moved then later to, to the Eintracht Frankfurt, so now I'm in Frankfurt. I'm with him and I'm, I like him. I like him uh, because uh, so much passion in his game, uh, uh, always positive, yeah, yeah. He can play both sides uh, um, on the right and left, uh, full back. Uh, side and now he played also in the last games uh, uh, more offensive and he scored some goals you know four goals you see it's unbelievable yeah for him he never scored four goals in, in a season uh, he's he's a he's a positive factor for us uh, um, and uh, he's also Frankfurt born yeah so uh, everybody loves him here and um, you know it's a, it's a really really great 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 football player but as a person I like him more yeah uh, final point, just looking ahead to that big game against Borussia Mönchengladbach at, at the weekend. 
Do you think we're going to see more open, more goals, more action than maybe we've seen previously just because the players maybe are a little a bit out of step or it's the first game back or is it going to be cautious? Like, What sort of scoreline would you be thinking we'd be, we'd be getting? For you guys, uh, I would uh, I would love to see a five five, you know, <laughs> a draw. But uh, <laughs> um, so so many goals. This that would be also interesting. You know, we have no experience about this situation right now uh, after this long break, and so coming back to play uh, in, in 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 the league against a really strong team of Borussia Mönchengladbach. They, they are right now in the Champions League spot. Yeah, to qualify for the Champions League, they uh, played a fantastic season. So, um, uh, and we have not the advantage, we play at home, but we have not the advantage because of no supporters here yeah, in our fantastic stadium with our uh, great supporters. And, uh, but the character of the game, I think, will, will change a little bit. I, but I have no feeling about it. It will, will be uh, offensive uh, uh, spectacle or uh, will they be more careful, you know, uh, because uh, ne nobody was in this situation before. Uh, hopefully, for the audience and for everybody, it will be a fantastic football football match and uh, everybody will speak about it later. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.